everyone. Today here, our new Tibetan lesson. Now today we have, we have two things we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the, um, we're going to talk about also, the connective also, and the oblique la, the oblique la and bra, which are, which are um, known as uh, locative and dative. Okay. So let's start with let's start with the locative and dative. So the first thing um, we learned before that la, we, we learned la before being um, uh, locative dative, right? Now there are two variants in spoken Tibetan. We have la and ra. Now the rule for that, okay, after vowels or this a uh, here after vowels, this letter. Um, yeah, after vowels or yeah, after vowels or this letter, it would take the um, what is it, the ra, right? And after after all endings, vowels and consonants, we'll take we'll take the la. A few examples here. So, Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. Actually, no dot. Ohio. So when you use the when you use the when you use the ra, you just connect that on the end of the vowel. After the vowel, you just add the ra. Okay, and that will mean to or in Ohio. Now you don't need this. You don't need the dot for separating with the for the ra. However, for a lot, you need that. You need to separate it. So, Ohio, 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 in or to Ohio. Second example, B, B, La, B, La, in Tibet or to Tibet. So, as you can see, La here, our other particle for the lock of data, and um, you have. Um, Okay, you have la, bu, la, and you have this, this separator here. So you have to use that dot to separate la. With, with the with the ra, you don't need it. Okay, so that's a, that's a basic, that's a simple rule there. So just make sure you guys memorize that. Keep that in mind. Now, for the yang here, for the yang, which is also, um, Remember, we had two different ways of saying and or um, also. We had this dan. We learned before. Right? Dan, that means and. But you see here, uh, you use that at the beginning. Like and. Like if I say and I am a student or whatever. But here the yang is pretty much in the middle. Like the rule for this yang here, you have na na ma ra la. If the word that ends with any of those any of those letters, it will take yang. If it ends with ga da ba sa, it will take kyang. Okay, if it ends with this letter here, it will be ang or yang. So that's the rule. That's the rule for that. Okay, and now I'll go through the examples here. So the examples here, we have um Bu Kyang Ninja Kore. Bu Kyang Bu Kyang Ninja Kore. And I've written it in uh, the Latin also. So that means that means Tibet is also beautiful or pretty. Tibet is also beautiful or pretty. Nin Jepo, that means pretty, pretty or beautiful. And as you can see, Kyang here. As you can see, this Kyang. That means and. Tibet also is pretty because it ends with the dot. 
So our rule begins with if it is with da, you go up here, you find da, pian. So that's that. Next example. Nayang subo de boi. Nayang subo de boi. So I am also well. My body is also well. My body is also well. Like you review or use that responsive. So when I ask you, um, Kerran kuzu de boimbe? Kerran kuzu de boimbe? They ask you and you say, up. Uh, well, they'll say, uh, yeah, they ask you, Kerran su. And they'll say, Nasubo de boy. And they may ask you, Dan Kierra Nuzu de Boimbe? And I'll say, Oh, Nayang Subo de Buino. Nayang Subo de Buino. Okay? So that's that. And as you can see, Yan here. I'm also. And it's because here you have Na, Na, it takes Yan. So those are pretty simple. Uh, just practice a little bit, make your own sentences, uh, you know, make up your own sentences and whatnot until you get used to it. And that's that. That's what it is. That's the lesson for today. So we have two things we focus on, the yang, the also, and the locked dative. So we have two different ways. So when you read Tibetan, you may see this ra in a, in a situation where, it's, where it has to do a locative or a dative, dative case. Okay? So... I felt that this it was important to teach these here. Okay, so that's very important. Um, that will conclude this lesson here. Uh, if you guys have any, if you guys have any questions, uh, as I, as I mentioned before, if you want to practice, you know, one on one, you know, typing, script, whatever, send me a message, let me know, and um, we can get on Yahoo and we can practice the Tibetan script written. And just practice Tibetan in general, okay? So just let me know, send me a message, and uh, I will reply ASAP. Uh, thanks for viewing the video.